I want to now touch briefly on how to transfer over the material in your storyboard to your actual course slides. We already covered this in more detail in Lesson 6, but since it is part of the next steps, I will reiterate some of it here. We will assume that your storyboard was produced in PowerPoint, so it is just a matter of renaming the file and editing it. Specifically, you would want to edit out the instructions you wrote to yourself and anything else that is not supposed to be in the online course slides. Then you can add any slide transitions or animations if you haven't done so already. Afterwards, you can start recording yourself going through each slide as you narrate. This is the basic process I would take to produce your final product. Now that you storyboarded everything, it should help make the production phase much quicker and also help you avoid having to re-record anything at the end. Then if you're using a third-party platform like Thingific, you can upload all of your screen captured videos to the platform and add in assessment questions. This feature to add questions should be included in the platform. So now I just want to talk briefly about software and equipment. Here's a list of the basic software and equipment that you need for building online courses. Software includes Canva for graphics, PowerPoint for storyboarding and course slides, Camtasia for screen recording and editing, and Audacity for audio recording and editing. Although you can do audio recording with Camtasia, and that is what I'm doing. I'm recording my audio and my screen recording with Camtasia all at once, and then it imports it into Camtasia as two different tracks, and you can actually edit the audio at the same time, but Audacity will give you a few more options than what Camtasia can provide. So equipment to get you started would be a Yeti microphone for audio recording, a tripod to hold a smartphone or tablet for video recording yourself, and headphones to help with accurate audio editing.